What's up everyone, it's me Daryl B. Welcome back to another video. So today is a very very uh, special episode because more audio had checked out my videos and they've seen the tone matching I've done with their pedals and today they sent over, not today, they actually sent this over to my house. This is the brand new GTRS guitar and um, everything that we're going to be hearing is going to be coming straight through this instrument because of this thing here. It's called the Super Knob. The Super Knob is basically all the more effects that you've uh, heard like in my earlier videos but now it's straight in into the guitar so no pedals involved really really cool feature so I have everything set up here on the app I have everything synced up from the guitar to the GTRS app we're gonna take a look at the sounds that we got here together so we have all types of tones here we have like you know the original tone uh, Les Paul auditorium all that good stuff so if we wanted to change the pickup of this bridge pickup we can choose a Les Paul if we wanted go to auditorium if you want it to sound like an acoustic and 60 strat and uh, what else do we have here we have a telecaster a lot of really good features here oh we have the jp so that's the uh, i guess that's a john petrucci uh, guitar model here really really cool and then we have the Schuer classic we have jp piezo so that's like an acoustic pickup simulator md35 and we also have a hollow body so lots of really really cool features you know that we have on this so this is the sound that i have if we go to gtrs here and we go to the super knob we can pretty much select what type of amp that we want overdrive cab noise gate you know mod modulation delay reverb all that good stuff everything is built in so this is the sound that we have just using the original pickup so i'll just select this just for uh, illustration <laughs> So if we want to like select like a different type of tone here, we're going to just click on that and then if we want to change the original tone from the humbucker, let's say if we want to get that Stratocaster sound, as you'll see here with the five-way switch, you'll be able to select whatever sound that you want for each pickup. So that's what gives this instrument a lot of tonal opportunities to mess with sound and that gives us lots of options to play with which I find really amazing to do. So what we'll do here, as I mentioned, is that we're going to change this uh, pickup here to make it sound like a different guitar. So if we wanted to select like a Stratocaster, let's go to Strat CS. And then we can actually mess with the EQ of the pickup. So if you put a little bit more treble. So that's a lot of trouble, so we're not going to go all the way up there like that. Nice. nice. And then if you want to add more gain, let's say something like, I wouldn't say like an EMG, but if you want a little bit more gain. Okay. And then, let's say if we just uh, wanted to do like the neck pickup and you just want to stick with that Stratocaster sound, we're going to select this once again. Let's go maybe for like a, what is it, 60 Strat again. So that's a lot, that's a lot of bass, you know, for such a sound right there. So we're going to put a little bit more trouble. of cool things uh, so let's say if we wanted this to sound uh, like a different guitar let's go back to the bridge and then we wanted this to sound like uh, let's try the Les Paul uh, another great example <laughs> If you want 
want like you know like the combination of having a you know less pole in the bridge and then you want your strat in the neck there you have it <laughs> And if you want the warmness of the Les Paul, so select Les Paul again, and then let's go to the treble here. We'll just put it back like so. Put in more bass to get that humbucker sound. Really, really cool. Okay, so. In my case here, since we you know we've always been talking about like you know tone matching, we're just gonna uh, select GTRS once again, and then we're gonna click on the super knob. And then now that we have like you know the amp settings, so what I have here is just like the PV fifty fifty with the gain at eighty. I choose the fifty fifty because it has the distortion that I need in the dig digital realm. And uh, let's say if I wanted to jam on some Iron Maiden. Uh, let's say this is like the original tone and then let's say if we wanted to play something like uh, let's say wasted years we're gonna put so we have the chorus here let's activate that so very simple to turn on and off the effects you just tap on you know mod and of course we're gonna add some delay to that so let's click on that so that's that just make sure I'm not clipping because I saw a clip there. You know what? Let's jam on some Iron Maiden, you know, and we'll probably like uh, see how it sounds, you know, together in, you know, with a mix. So I'm going to load up a track right over here. Let's go back to Iron Maiden and then pretty much do this like so. So this is just very, very quick video as usual. This is just an introduction, you know, for this you know, fine instrument. So I'm loading up the track. I'm just looking for, let's say, uh, yeah, let's do Wasted Years as an example. Was the Iron Maiden sound just by adding like you know two different elements here we have the Ana chorus and delay so when we look at the so when we look at the other options here we have like all types of uh, effects we have like you know the overdrive boost and if we click on this arrow button we have the boosts right over here we have overdrives and I tend to use the 808 a lot and uh, we have fuzz distortion uh, amplifiers we have the arrow here we have low gain and we have like all types of low gain amps, which brings a lot or a plethora of uh, different tones. But I love choosing the 50 50 because of the distortion, you know, that comes with it. In fact, it's the same thing that I use, you know, with the mower or mini pedals. So if we have, uh, what do we have here? We have cab, all different cabs, lots of different cabs. What is that? 25 really good uh, dynamic I'm just basically using a noise gate but if you want to look at the other effects we just have like you know noise gate compressor touch wah auto wah uh, modulation delay reverb all that good stuff 
so yeah so that's you know the iron maiden sound that i got and uh the tonal options that we have here is actually really really uh makes this awesome because like i said you know we're not using any sort of pedals uh whatsoever everything that you're hearing is actually from this guitar going straight into the mixer and that's it just bare bones and that's what makes the uh you know this uh instrument very very uh convenient let's say like you know you don't want to bring any sort of like expensive gear with you you just bring this guitar and you know you're pretty much all set just basically plug it into the mixer and you're you know you're all ready to go you're and um this makes also a very good practice uh tool you know if you want to like get into like other stuff as well as if we want to go into the uh, app and then we go into the uh settings here if you want to learn like different chords you know let's say you want to do like major suspended second fourth all that stuff it's all there for you let's go to settings here if you want a drum looper you have it so okay and then if you want to change the speed just tap your tempo <laughs> okay and then let's go back here and there you have it everyone that's the gtrs guitar uh lots of really really nice features from this and uh uh, there are a couple of wishes that I hope that they make, you know, for like future models. I really hope they make like a natural finished type of uh, body. And I hope they also add like a Floyd Rose as well as, uh, you know, locking nut, of course. And then I also, I also hope because uh, since we have all these effects, I really hope they have like a transpose type of uh, type of option. So like if we want to play songs like in, uh, you know, let's say like D standard or drop C, uh, that would be very, very helpful for us, like, you know, musicians that play, like, you know, melodic death metal. Um, what else is there? I hope also in future guitars as well um, that we'll have, like, a longer scale length, you know, for, uh, like, you know, strings that... For strings that are, like, a lot more thicker, so that way the intonation will be good. Uh, this is actually in, like, 9 to 42, and this works perfectly well with this uh, type of scale length. So I left the link uh, right at the very bottom of the description. Check it out. You know, if you're interested, just you know, let there will be let everyone know that there will be had sent you. And uh, yeah, so thank you again, everyone, for being so patient for uh, waiting for another video. I really hope that you enjoy that. There will be more tone matching videos with this particular guitar. I know it's been very very fast, but I just wanted to show everyone how I would use this. Like you know when it comes to like, you know, practicing, tone matching, you name it. So once again, thank you all for checking out the video and I hope to see you in the next one.